Hey guys, Woods Farm here, Project 222. This is episode 22, and today we're going to be working on the front windshield plate. We're going to get that cut out, and we're going to cut the vision ports. And after that, we're going to work on some more of the uh, side plates, the wheel well area. We've got to work on that as, as we start to close in the uh, driver's compartment. Okay, here we go guys, back at it again. Um, it was a really nice day, so I decided to do the cutting outside, um, keep all the dust and grime out of the garage for a change. So the first things first, we're gonna get this uh, front windshield plate cut out. Just double checking the pattern there. And then back to the cutting. Uh, the zip cuts, they go through this 1 8 uh, pretty smooth um, with not too much difficulty. Sometimes I have to clamp the work down, sometimes not. It just depends on how big the plate is. Of course, like I said, going through these discs like crazy. Um, luckily, I'm getting them on sale at Canadian Tire on a pretty regular basis. Okay, so just giving this uh, windshield a second look, and I think I'm going to adjust it slightly. If you look really, really closely, the smaller uh, visor is very, very close to the edge. Uh, best we can tell, it's like around an inch, the corner. And the larger visor for the driver, it seems to be a lot uh, further away from the, the edge. It definitely appears that the smaller one is much closer. It's pushed over to the edge and obviously it's smaller. It's not as it's not as high. 
Um, also looks like the side windshields might be a little larger and maybe drop down a little bit more. Very hard to tell. You can see that piece of channel that makes like an L shape that kind of forms. I don't know if that's a bullet shield or if that's for like water. Um, and then there's kind of like a piece of angle that, that goes up over top of it, the main windshield. Again, I'm assuming that's to keep water from running down and in, but it could also be to deflect bullets. Yeah, just double checking the drawings and it looks like they're even. Um, about six inches, just a hair over six inches overall. And I'm accounting for a half an inch of overlap around the edges, so that would make the opening around five inches, which is what we're at. So the main thing is we're just trying to make that driver's side um, vision port as wide as possible. The drawing has it at about 17 inches, and it looks like ours is gonna be around 15. Okay, so now I'm just back in the garage and I'm gonna drill out these corner holes on the smaller opening. Once I get a pilot hole drilled, I'm gonna switch over to that step drill. A little bit of oil really helps save the drill bits. And then yeah, once it's uh, drilled out, I just cut in between the holes and that uh, opens it up. Okay, there's the uh, pattern for the front driver's side wheel well. We had to get creative down here. There's three bolts there that hold the steering box onto the frame. So we had to cut it up high there and uh, just close it in to work around those bolts. Um, there is a good chance we'll have to service that steering box down the road. Um, so we want to make sure that that's accessible. We would have preferred to carry the main plate all the way down right to the point and then just blend it into the frame, kind of down along here, along the bottom edge. We thought we could do that and kind of keep those two bolts exposed, but then we realized that there's the third on the top end. So the easiest thing to do is to just uh, work around that. And really a lot of this is underneath the fender. so. When you stand back and you look at it, you're not gonna really know that that plate doesn't continue all the way down to the nose. And of course, it's a, this truck frame is very strange. It's not perfectly symmetrical. Um, we're gonna work on this side first, but the bolt pattern for the idler arm, which is part of the steering system, on the other side, it is roughly in the same area, but the bolt pattern is not the same. These cutouts, they have to be exposed because you need to, be, need to be able to get a socket in there uh, to get to the bolt heads to un, undo that part of the steering linkage, if that makes sense. So we were trying to make it at least even the distance from that the cutout goes to the back. We're gonna do about 15 inches and it should be at least symmetrical in that regards when we do the passenger side.
Okay guys, we're going to wrap this video up here. Um, we've got the uh, windshield tacked in place and we've got the wheel well uh, fabricated for the driver's side. Um, took us a little while to come up with the, an idea of how we were going to do it, but uh, now that we know where we're going, the passenger side should be a lot easier. If you want to see more videos of Project 222, definitely uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.